Nation! I'm Soar. My name is Agent Beamstar, and let's get right into the news! Hey, yo! Whole lot of juicy drama to get into. Hey, yo, most times it's the community that starts the drama. This time it's 2K that made it in the news themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, my whole body soul recording these AMP bangers. But if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Of course, of course, of course. Look at the number. Run it up! Run it up! Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gassed. Let's get straight into the news. After I congratulate myself and thank you guys drastically for helping me reach 100,000 on the second channel. That was fast. Link is in the description. For our first story of the day is not really a story and is an apology from Agent Beamstar for missing it on the last 2K drama alert. Uh, it was just a funny thing I wanted to show you guys I didn't include in the last one. So, Trey Young tweets, damn 2K. <laughs> Pissed off emoji. This was in reference to that players tournament that they had about a month ago. Ronnie2k replied with the you blew it gif. You blew it, Trey Young. Which prompted Trey Young to reply, nah, technically you did. With the little shrug emoji. Guys, that is just good quality drama right there. I apologize for missing it last time. I had to get to it. You see what I'm saying? For the next story of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, NBA 2K21 has been on the hush, hush, hush. They're not anywhere near talking about it, right? But we have been seeing a little itty bitty. And we've seen a little bit of that here on Twitter today. A user by the name of Map Noah uploaded this video. Oh, well, actually, I guess it's a TikTok user. But it's, well, let's just play it. Roll the clip. Well, let's mute it, right? Because it's copyrighted music. Well, let me just scroll through this real quick, show you guys what's going on. It's a dude on the set of NBA 2K21 doing some mocap, trying to get some new animations. This is what the studio looks like, I assume, for dribble moves and stuff like that. You scroll through and something interesting happens, ladies and gentlemen. You see Zion Williamson right over there, which means we're probably gonna get some incredible new dunking animations. Look, look how happy he looks. Look how happy they both look. Zion knows that a couple of the dunks he does today are gonna make it into the game. He's ecstatic about that. He's not that tall. Ah, oh, well, he's an NBA player. And to bridge from that story, a user on Twitter by the name of Jack Bill sent a tweet to LD2K asking, LD2K, is NBA 2K21 gonna be delayed or will it be out for the current consoles in Q3, quarter three? Well, that's a very good question because as we're gonna get to later in this 2K drama alert, yes, I fully expect plenty of games to get canceled, and some already did. Uh, well, LB2K actually replied to that saying, no official details have been announced. Stay tuned to NBA 2K for official announcements. Now, I'm not gonna read into the response that much because he really just said nothing. Um, but I'm not 100% certain something's gonna drop neither. Now, I don't wanna say that because I'm just guessing. I'm just speculating for the sake of speculating. An Agent Beamstar doesn't deal in speculation. I deal in facts, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, LU2K sent this 360 GIF right here. <laughs> no idea why. For our next story of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, NBA 2K, well, 2K specifically, is just dropping all kinds of announcements recently. Last month, they told us they're coming out with NFL 2K, an arcade competitor to Madden. Now, they're telling us this. Roll it. Well, it's just a tweet, so I'm gonna be here reading it to you guys. Hope you don't mind. It's not actually a video. It's me again. Well, I guess this is a video for you guys. Huh. 2K announces a brand new WWE game called WWE 2K Battlegrounds, an arcade-style brawler from Saber Interactive. Now, let me give you guys the juicy, juicy gems. Two, three years ago, NBA 2K bought NBA Playgrounds and they renamed it NBA 2K Playgrounds. They launched the next title as NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. That's coming after the success of the original NBA Playgrounds. So when NBA Playgrounds came out and it sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands, probably millions at this point, of copies, 2K was like, hey, that's, all, that's our ballpark. Let's take control. So they did, they took control of basketball. And you know, NBA Live is somewhere in the distance being miserable. So then 2K is like, huh, we like this arcade thing. 
Let's mess with NFL. They came out with the arcade competitor, or they're about to, called NFL 2K. Now you might be wondering why I'm saying all that, because this is truly an arcade style brawler. It's not like WWE games you knew playing, growing up, growing up playing those games. This is very different. There's literally a trailer. Did I not add the trailer in here? Guys, guys, I am a horrible host. I apologize. Well, it's probably copyrighted music, so I'm only gonna play that lead. I'm gonna have to ask you to mute that, my guy. Um, but is it like a WWE game you know? Nope. But are those games any good anyway? No. The last one I played was like WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 06. Everybody played that game. To those of you who are more interested in the future of WWE 2K than the new Brawl game, apparently the WWE 2K19 servers will stay up, though for how long isn't stated, and they promise to put more time into developing the main game in the franchise. So, here's hoping. Well, so if we look carefully here, he says they promise to put more time to developing the next me. So it doesn't seem as though they're abandoning the original WWE game concept. It just seems that they're gonna spread their focus to also include arcade style, the way they did in the NBA genre, the way they're trying to do in the NFL genre. Troy Dan put out a tweet saying, WWE 2K20 canceled? Damn, this might be a good sign though. This year's game was awful. For the next story of the day, shots were fired, ladies and gentlemen. It started with Flight Reacts. Flight Reacts here on Twitter today said this. 2K might as well put a Flight Reacts 100 overall point guard to center opal card shrug emoji. LD2K responded saying, would be cool, but that negative three ankle durability rating would be tough. <laughs> Guys, this is why I love the 2K community. In any other community, that would not have been a story. People would have just got along. But in this community, we take shots. Like friendly shots though, friendly banter, or sometimes malicious and like, like be very like snide, but, but like in fun though, or for entertainment. For the next story of the day, Ticino has been scammed. One of the heroes in the NBA 2K community, Ticino, put on a wager. Well, actually, I'm gonna let him explain it to you. He said this. The lockdown post score lineup we just came back from 1-3 to win for 1,000 just charged back all the money they sent. They officially scammers now. Hurt that bad, huh? Ended your career and about to make thousands from you on YouTube. Goodbye. And he added them, Snags and CJ. Hank the Tank responded to that tweet saying, they run a post lock lineup? Of course they're scammers. AMP Duke responded, LMAO, people be broke for real wagering money they don't really have with a whole gang of crying laughing emojis. Swante responded, crying laughing emoji, can't trust people that run post locks. So the guy that was involved in the scam put out this note here, he said, so here's where we're at. Snags charged back, I'm trying to contact him and he blocked me on Insta, Snap, Twitter, my phone number. Trust me, our relationship isn't clean, we've had our fights, but he's never ever done something like this. To get the story straight, Snags pays for every wager and gets 95% of the cut. I don't have that sort of money to throw around on the game, but Snags does. I've tried talking to Ticino, he doesn't want to listen, and I don't blame him. Have any questions, my DMs are open, but will take a bit since it's everywhere right now. Wait, yo, bro, didn't make no s- You get 5% of the cut? For what? You're not putting up money. So the Snags character put out a tweet and this is what he said. Goodbye everyone was a good run in the, in the community, but I'm gonna have to say goodbye to you all. You won't be seeing me anymore. Cheers everyone for making it great while it lasted. PSZ, lose some weight, G-Town for life. We out this. Cool. Hey, um, pack him up ladies and gentlemen, pack him up. <laughs> hey, I can't believe he actually made an announcement that he was gonna leave and then thank the whole bunch of people after scamming. Yeah, hey, don't get in wages if you're not gonna pay up. And yo, for real, if you guys are getting in wagers, just send the money to a, a third party, like somebody in the middle, and then that person's gonna send the money to whoever wins. So that way there's no dispute like this. You just have somebody in the middle. For our next story of the day. Oh my God, it's another big one. 2K is not done dropping news, ladies and gentlemen, because they dropped another bit of gemming and bending, bending on us today because they announced another game. God damn it, why are they announcing so many games? <laughs> this, well, it's a video, so I'm just gonna let it play.
Oh, yeah, I can't play the music in this one either. Well, why don't you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? Well, why don't you look at that? NBA 2K is also coming out with a, with a golf game. Now, it's my understanding, if I had to guess, because I actually didn't do any research here, that they probably just bought this game, the Golf Club 2019. They, but they definitely bought a game. They're not coming out with a golf game off scratch. So 2K is just like acquiring all kinds of different games and then just titling them WWE 2K or PGA Tour 2K or NBA 2K Playgrounds. Wow, wow. I guess they're trying to continue their push to dominate all of the sports titles. So yeah, I don't know how much you guys play golf games. I played like PGA Tour 99 or something like that growing up. Then, then I stopped, I stopped after that. But uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, if you care about that, there's that. For the next story of the day, there's been some drama in the community, ladies and gentlemen. It all started by a name of the person that goes by the name Chalk. Chalk, of course, is the first legend in NBA 2K20, uh, and he's blown up since the beginning of the game. He used to be in a clan with the DF guys, and he left recently. We talked about that. Well, uh, the last few weeks, apparently, he's been plotting and planning because he's coming out with his own clan, and it stirred up so much damn drama that there's actually no way I could cover it all, so I'm just gonna cover the highlights because there was a lot of people taking shots back and forth at one another. Chalk started a clan, but the, the clan was, he said it was different because anybody could join. So there's no like exclusivity. So if you wanted to be a part of it, you could be a part of it, which is a different approach. I like the creativity. On Twitter, he said this, I wanna change the game. Why grind for a clan when you can grind in a clan? I wanna give people an opportunity that in any other situation, they'd never have. Hate on it if you want, but this is gonna be special. Being exclusive is an illusion created to keep some people popular. I guess in some people's eyes, it's only a clan if we never let you in. So uh, I guess they just began adding hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands, I don't know at this point, of people to the clan because there's no limit and people wanted to join. So anybody that joins is technically a member of the clan, but there's also leaders of the clan. See what I'm saying? So it's, it's like, I don't, hmm. Power put out a tweet saying, Power put out a tweet saying, somebody asked me if I'm mad about AE. Hell yeah, I'm mad. I've been a random, I've started from zero subs, and I always like to see people help. But when I see such an obvious attempt to use and exploit people that don't even know better, you should all be ashamed. It's disgusting. For the people skeptical of clans, I understand that most clans are just group chats and they don't really do anything. But if you doubt DF, don't listen to what we say. Watch what we do. We are about to have seven members with 100K. Watch how our members improve and get bigger and better. If you join a clan and they can't even announce you on their clan page, you're not in the clan, bro. They just want you to advertise them. So that's one of the main criticisms people have with Chalk. They said that he was just using people to advertise himself because he didn't even, you, there's no way you could reasonably know hundreds of people or thousands of people if you're just inviting everybody to the clan. And Chalk was arguing a lot of people never get an opportunity like this. So they're gonna get a chance to meet people, to grind with people, etc. So there's obvious benefits in it for the people that join. But that didn't stop people from the 2K community from taking shots. Because of course, that's what we do around here. <laughs> Nade put out a tweet saying, imagine joining a clan with a bunch of randoms with a sideways crying laughing emoji. Badge Plug responded, I knew this tweet was coming. And Badge Plug, you're right, we all did. <laughs> it's not a 2K drama unless Nade Shaw has something to say, man. If I was in a competition with any 2K clan, I'd have kept this exclusive. This clan is bigger than 2K. And it's the reason everyone can't stop trying to drag us down. We're the fastest growing clan, largest clan in the history, history of 2K. And it's only been 10 days, only the beginning. This is what happens when you pretend to care about people to gain clout and followers, and you realize it's not working, and you actually have to make good content. Bandit responded, wait till launch though, go and change the game with a whole gang of crime laughing emojis. Well, to simplify what happened, a, a bunch of the leaders of the clan that Chalk created left. And it was only like a week into the thing and people were already getting restless about the situation. It's like being in a classroom, I guess, with thousands of people. Yes. Plenty of people that might not have got the opportunity to learn are here now, but nobody's actually getting like, you know, you know, that's where they try and get the classroom size down is so the teachers can focus on the students. There's no focus. You can't get to know hundreds of people or thousands of people. So although the intentions were pure, I guess some people were unhappy with the process and cut. Nate decided to take some more shots. He said this on Twitter. 
Why does Chalk think his clan's the fastest growing in the community? Does he even realize anyone could have done what he did to gain followers? Shit. I could have made TNB a community clan and grew a lot. DF can do the same. Crying laughing emoji. Uh, so I kind of simplified it, but I missed out a lot of points because there's no way for me to talk about that story without it being a 40 minute story. That's how much tweets that have been going back and forth. Uh, but hey, I'll say this, Chalk, I'm happy you're actually trying to do something outside the box. Whether or not it's gonna be successful, I don't know. But I'm gonna pay attention just to see how it goes. Plus, my guy Precise is involved. I think. I'm assuming he's still in there. For the next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, it's not a 2K drama alert. It's not a it's not a month in the NBA 2K community. Unless there's some glitch or bug that threatens to ruin the existence of the game. And we got another one, ladies and gentlemen, this time on my team. Shake and Bake put out a tweet saying, honestly, if I were you, I wouldn't even touch my team unlimited for the foreseeable future until this gets some sort of patch or fix. Sucks that this is the only real solution currently now. So there was a glitch basically that, um, it would make you wait forever to play the game type. And so it's kind of like lag switching back in the day. If, if someone's gonna lag switch me, I also had a lag switch. So I would only do it defensively if you thought you could beat me cheating. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cheat with you. I'm gonna cheat with you. We gonna be on an even playing field. We can see who could cheat better, bitch. So there was a whole bunch of people that saw the glitch and that used the glitch defensively so that they could actually play the game and those people was getting banned too. Somebody responded to Shake saying, hate it for people that got banned for defensive but actually sounds like a proper time to go 12-0 since all the glitches banned. Nope, people are still doing it. Trust me, I've seen tweets of people saying there's people still doing it right now. Troy Dan put out a tweet saying, bunch of NBA 2K20 My Team glitches got sent to the gulag. Shake and Bake says, for those asking, I don't think these bans are permanent for the rest of NBA 2K20. Even if you were actually being a huge dickhead forcing people to sit there for hours, it may only be one to two week ban. Somebody clarified, and I have no way to verify this, saying 2K support told me it's a seven day soft ban. That's what I'm hearing as well. These, for the most part, are not full year bans. Trying to get, trying to get reversals though on ones that weren't deserving. Uh, anyway, so that's the story. If you guys play my team, I'm sure that you went through it. If you didn't, you probably don't care. Me personally, don't care, you know what I mean? I'm one of the people that doesn't care. <laughs> I couldn't care less. <laughs> uh, but it's kind of interesting because usually it's the park community that has to deal with like an invisible glitch or some kind of glitch that gives people animations that ruins the game. Uh, this time it's the my team community getting their dose. And uh, my team is a brutal game to play. So to play it with glitchers makes it even more brutal. Let me stop. Let me stop like I ain't used to play my team all the time or something like that, bro. Let me, I'm, not, I'm not better than you guys. Agent B, I'm not better than my team players, nothing like that. Let me cut out, bro. Who do I think? What the hell is wrong with me? Hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the stories today. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. We cover all the news. Some videos on the screen, man. Click them if you're bored. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.